Hello everyone and welcome back to Keepsakes by Patty Cakes. This is Patty and today I'm going to start off a little differently. Um, I'm going to um, thank a few people who have commented on uh, my last two videos and I also want to let you know I'm going to be doing this um, for um, videos probably every other video because sometimes I record one after the other and so by the time uh, people get to comment I already have the next video up and also if it gets to be more than 10 people then I'll do a random draw and thank people as I go until I can get everybody in so to start off today I want to send huge hugs and love to Sandy Garrett, Lena's Crafty Corner, Dream It, Imagine It, Create It, Dawn Messinger, Second Chance Creations by Krista, Laurie's Little Bit of This and That, Glennis McCartney, and Ivy Balm. I thank you all so very much for leaving comments on my videos. I really do appreciate it. And I also want to thank all my subscribers because your support means so much to me and I'm very grateful. Okay, so today I hope you all are doing well. And what I want to make is a version of um, Gail Augustinelli's uh, and um, Shabby Dabby Doodah, Tina, um, also made this and it's five pockets made out of 12 by 12 paper however mine's a little different because I'm using 12 by 12 paper that I actually cut off to be 9 by 12 okay so it should be it's better if it's double sided paper because you're going to see both sides and then what we're going to do on the nine inch sides is we are going to score at one and a half on each side okay oops went totally off on that one okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half and fold it in half again and I didn't tell you my reasoning for taking it down <clears throat> excuse me to 9 by 12 and it's because my journals usually aren't very wide they're usually four and a half um, each page is like four and a half inches so I made it so this would be um, four and a half inches wide instead of six inches okay and you'll see what I mean in a minute so what we're gonna do is crease those let me just get this out of the way I'm gonna crease those down and I meant to crease the the folds too to make it a little easier and I'll go ahead and do that Okay, then what we're going to want to do is take the whole thing and where the sides are bent right here we're going to fold this in half and don't fold these up under or anything the sides and then we're going to cut it at a very very little angle up to where the fold is so that's going to give us room for our pockets to close without hindering the center which you'll see what I mean when we glue it. So now what we want to do, okay, so whatever you want the inside to be, that's the side that you want your pockets to be on, okay? Now if I wanted this to be the front, I would fold it this way, which you'll see after we glue it all down, okay? So... 
and oh before we do that the sides that don't have the pocket you're going to want to cut one side to the center it doesn't matter which side because it's still going to fold but i'm right-handed so i just kind of go for the right hand side for some reason okay so then we're going to go ahead and glue the pockets down which my glue doesn't want to work let me just see if that helps Do the other side. What you're going to want to do is fold it in half so the pockets are on both sides like this okay whichever side is not cut you don't want this side you're going to want this side that's not cut and we're going to glue it here and here so i just go a little bit whoops <laughs> to the right hand side of your th the fold and then down here okay and then we're going to glue that down and then all you do is fold this over for your front okay and then fold this under for the back and then as you can see we now have a pocket here a pocket here a pocket here a pocket here and a pocket here and so you have this little booklet and then you can decorate it how you want you can even stitch in a little journal if you'd like okay and then I did a twist on this and I don't know if um, it's been done before or not I just thought of it whenever um, I was making this one and I have another 12 by 12 that I cut 9 by 12. So we're going to do the same thing and we're going to score it the same. Okay. One and a half inch on the 9 inch side. Same with the other side. One and a half inch. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing and fold it into and half half ways and then the other way okay this way just burnish it down again okay and we're going to do the same thing with the pockets again we're going to fold this in half. Whoop, knock my glue over. And we're going to do slide angle cut up to where we have the fold line on both sides.
just like that. Okay, I want this side to be my outside. I think I'm doing this right. I'm going to fold these up. Nope, I'm wrong. For that to be on this one, it's the opposite. This is going to be the outside of it, and this is going to be the inside. You'll see what I mean. So it's kind of backwards on this one. Just burnish these up. And the reason why I thought of this one, which the other one could be done too, but this one I wanted to make to actually sew into um, my signature. I got some nail polish on there. So we're gonna just glue up the pockets like we did the other one. Okay. And the same on this side. I think I did this one totally wrong. No, I didn't. I'm still okay. So now what you want to do is so the pockets, you want the pockets on the outside again. Okay. That's a piece of the rose. And then what we're going to do is glue it all the way across the bottom here. Instead of cutting one side, we're just gluing all the way across the bottom and gluing that down. Now you can ink these up too. I just, for video purposes, I just figured I'd do it this way. And then want to crease that down a little better maybe. Put my needle back on my glue. And then you can just sew this into your signature and then you'll have six pockets on this one. So you're going to have one here, one here, one here, 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 and on the outside. Okay. So again, you can decorate this one any way you like to. And this one's got a blank center. So you can always add stuff, you know, over here and embellishments on it. So I just wanted to share those with you today with the different measurements. And I hope maybe this will help you all out too. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So everyone, I hope you have a great day. And I think I already said that. <laughs> but have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.